What is up you guys, it's Bolty98 and we have tons of COD news, yes, tons, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 news, Modern Warfare 3 campaign leaks, no more older gen COD, Verdance coming back, and his Amos is overpowered? Yes, yeah, so let's get straight into the video here, starting with our Modern Warfare 3 news. Yes, we have some Modern Warfare 3 leaks, including campaign. These are not huge spoilers. These are just basic, uh, very dry spoilers, so no spoiler alert needed. But basically, there will be two sad deaths and one good death, according to the actor who actually portrays Gaz in the Call of Duty uh, campaign mode. Yes, yeah, so we know that there's going to be two deaths of heroes and one death of an enemy that makes people happy. Um, let me know your guess on those. Apparently... We have rumors of who those are, but they're not quite ready to be spoiled yet, I guess. Um, I don't understand why we don't spoil them, but I guess I understand some people might read it on accident who didn't want to know. And that can be very upsetting, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts on who you think might be the upcoming deaths, uh, sad and enemy. I think if we go sad, I think it'd be too cliche to do ghost again, but maybe they do. I think it's going to be uh, Price and Soap. Unless we get a new character that we just love in the new campaign. I don't know. Those are my two guesses. Also, Verdansk is coming back. Uh, apparently, though, it's not coming back like we thought. It's not going to be in Modern Warfare 3 Warzone. It's going to be for Call of Duty Mobile. Yes, so Verdansk is in the files or in the leaks. We've been, we've read so much about it. We've even seen uh, Verdansk in the campaign uh, trailer that they leaked. And so we kind of knew it's going to be in the campaign, but we weren't sure if it was going to be brought back to Warzone. And this kind of clarifies that it is going to be bringing brought back into Warzone, just not in the way we thought. It's going to be for your mobile device. I don't know if this will be the only map they have on mobile or if they will be bringing Almazra and that back. But if you play mobile or you are a big fan of Warzone and want to take ready for mobile to come out, then you should be able to play uh, Verdance, which is cool for you. Um, and then we also move over to where we're talking about, you know, the differences between mobile and PC and console. It looks like this will be the first Call of Duty that doesn't bounce back to last gen. This is going to be a new gen Call of Duty only um, based off that image. If you want to go back and look at it, you can see the devices that it says on the Xbox store is Xbox Series X. Dash S, meaning that they are no longer doing the Xbox One, Xbox, you know, Slim. Um, also, prices look like they're going to be going down, appearing uh, in the AUD. It looks like the price in the AUD is about fifty four ninety five. Uh, that puts Great Britain at about thirty USD forty and European forty. So the price has gone down. Um, that kind of leaves you to think: Is did it go down because it's just an expansion to Modern Warfare Two and not going to have its own gameplay, or does it mean that we will just be getting a cheaper game because it kind of brings a lot from Modern Warfare Two, but it will also still have its own game? I hope. It's the second one, but it leads me to believe that it might be the first. So this could be a good or bad thing. We're not that sure. Our next topic that we wanted to obviously hit was aim assist. Do you think aim assist is overpowered in this game? Apparently, we had recently a bunch of issues in Warzone, um, and people are just recently thinking that it is. I got a clip right here I wanted to show you guys, so enjoy. Right to my left. Yeah, right here on that hill. Higher yeah. up. Knock him. Get that full if you want. What? What's going for the, he's going for the res up here? So as you see here, this guy absolutely just painted the man sliding down the hill, and even he's surprised by it. Um, what do you guys think down below? I do not know this creator. I don't know if he's under any accusations or anything like that. So please don't, you know, accuse me of, like, using a hacker on this. This is just a clip that I've been seeing surfacing. I wanted to know what you guys think about the aim assist. So let me know. I play on controller myself. I've never noticed anything like this insane, but I played on controller my whole life, so I probably would be blind to it if it did happen. I want to know your PC guys' thoughts on it. Like, do you actually notice that aim assist is a bit overpowered or not? Because I'm curious. Like, I don't really never played on PC with any COD title or anything, so all I know is aim assist based off controller. So I have no idea if it's too much, too less. It seems like it's pretty much the same. If not, I was thinking maybe a little less in my opinion but there's so many different things you can change in the game to make that aim assist better and i can only imagine what you can do on your pc with your controller i play on a basic xbox so i'm only limited to what i can do based off of you know unlocking a controller or adding special like sensitivities and features and stuff i play on a normal controller on a normal xbox one s so that's all i got 
um, for this video, basically. But I do want to hear you guys' thoughts. I've been, you know, the comments have been going. I appreciate all you guys who have been commenting, but I really want to see what you guys think on the depths. I want to know who you guys think the two are. Um, I'm calling it Price and Soap are my two. I just think that this one's been leaded up. Now for the the happy one, it's either it's got to be Makarov, right? There's no way they'd make it. Uh, what's the guy's name? It's got to be Makarov, but it could be. Uh, I cannot think of the guy's name. Shadow Company dude. Holy snap! It's gonna kill me because I'm gonna rewatch this and I'm gonna forget him. But. I want to know what you guys think below, um, what you think, and also with the aim assist issue. I don't know that it's that big of a deal, but like I said, if you play BC and you notice it being a bit of an issue, then let me know because I'm super excited to you know, hear what everyone's got to say on it. I do want to say thank you so much for all the support. We are up at 585 subscribers, so if you guys don't mind liking, subscribing, leaving comments, uh, sharing the video, just anything you know you want to do, you feel up to do, that'd be great. Also, if you notice anything in the videos that you don't like or think could be better, let me know that down below because I'm super interested in growing uh, and becoming a better content creator for everyone, um, and I like bringing in the COD news and stuff. I also have another channel that I'm planning on starting up where I'm playing like other games, Siege, Apex, and doing rank play and stuff like that. That's not so business and news like, it's more me playing around with my friends and stuff. So that'll be coming also. I'm not gonna really focus on it or shout it out, it's just something I'm doing on the side. If you guys feel obligated, um, it's just more Bolty 98. As soon as I get my first video up, I'll obviously featured the channel on my channel so you guys go check it out but thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one peace